A nine-month process coming to an end today. City of Burlington has a new director of racial equity, inclusion, and belonging. And as NBC5's Tyler Boronsky tells us, she's the first of many hires that will be added to that department. When I brought forward the creation of this position in my 2019 budget proposal, it was with a vision that to advance rapidly on racial equity issues, we needed an apartment focused on that issue. Mayor Mira Weinberger introducing Kim Carson, Burlington's next director of racial equity, inclusion, and belonging. I'm at the point in my career where I can really choose where I want to be and what I want to do, and I chose Burlington. Carson comes to the Queen City from Iowa, where she led up diversity initiatives for the Iowa Judicial Branch for the last three years. Carson is eager to get started in the new role. The size of the community really reflects kind of the overall look of America. And so what really made me excited about this is this is something where you can create something that may be able to be replicated nationally. Carson will be Burlington's second full-time director of the REIB department. She follows Taisha Green, who left the position in February after serving for two years. She uh, unfortunately chose to move back to Minneapolis. I tried hard to avoid that outcome, um, uh, but it but she is no longer with us, the commitment remains. Carson says she's felt very comfortable since coming to Burlington and is looking forward to rebuilding the department. Anything in this work, you're going to not always agree. But at the end of the day, I think I'm in a space with my yes. colleagues and the leadership of yes. the city that we can make this, you know, equity and inclusion and, you know, all those things really, you know, the key of the work here. Carson will start on November 8th following approval by the city council. I am very excited to be bringing forward for confirmation an individual in Kim Carson who possesses the skills, education, training, work experience, and values to succeed in this key leadership role. In Burlington, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.